Hello everyone, welcome to an exciting video. In this video, I'm going to teach you a very cool yet powerful technique to help you write a OET letter. Now I know most students find it really challenging to finally come up with a letter based on the case notes. So the super cool technique will definitely help you make it much easier to complete a letter. And this technique is called as task reduction technique. So what is task reduction technique? Well, it's a method that will help you extract relevant information from the case notes. We know that in the case notes, we have a lot of information given about the patient, starting from the presenting complaint to probably detailed history and maybe, um, you know, whatever happened in the hospital, what kind of uh, treatment was given and the future needs and plans for the patient. So you have a lot of information there. But we all know that we need to select the information based on who we are writing to. Yes, but this task reduction technique will help you come up with a perfect letter. And it is a guide to choosing bits of significant information from the case notes given and ending up writing a perfect OET letter. So let's get straight to the video and see how you can use the task reduction technique. Yes, on screen you have a case note given. Now this case note is picked from the official OET website and as always we know that we read the first one or two sentences given just below notes and it says Assume that today's date is 7 September 2018. Mr. Gerald Baker is a 79 year old patient on the ward of a hospital in which you are charge nurse. When we read these first one or two sentences we get to know what our job role or responsibility is and we also have a fair idea of our patient. As soon as we read this, we go straight to the end of the case notes where the writing task is given. And in the writing task, it says, write a letter to Miss Samantha Brune, senior nurse at Grey Walls Nursing Home, who will be responsible for Mr. Baker's continuing care at the nursing home. So now we know who we are, we know who we are writing to, and other bits of information, yes, we do have a fair idea. And then what do we do? Yes, we go through the entire case notes from start to bottom, right? Well, now at this point, we can apply the task reduction technique. And like the name suggests, it's helping you reduce the task from the lot of information that you have in the case notes. So yes, this is the template. It's called the task reduction template and like I said I'm showing the first half here. I have four bits of information on the template. The first one says patient name, date of birth or age. Second, from, third, to and number four, existing relationship. So we're going to try and fill in this first half of the reduction template, the task reduction template using the case notes. So let's pick the first information from the case note, that is the patient's name and the patient's date of birth or age. Yes, when we quickly look at the case notes, we can see his name is Gerald Baker and the age is given as 79 year old. And we do not have the date of birth given in patient details, but we know his marital status, which says widower for eight years. So we're going to fill in the template with this bit of information. Like you can see here, we filled in Mr. Gerald Baker, 79 year old. The second bit of information we need to pick is from, that is, who are we? From whom is the letter being written to? So we look at the case note again and we pick out that bit of information, what our job role is. And it says charge nurse. And in the patient details, in the admission date, it says 3rd September 2018, City Hospital, which means I'm a charge nurse in City Hospital. So this is the bit of information we fill in in the second point on the template. Charge nurse, city hospital. Now we go on to fill the third point that is who are we writing to? Our reader. So we refer the case notes again, look at the writing task and it says write a letter to Miss Samantha Brune, senior nurse 
grey walls, nursing home. All right, so that's what we fill in. You can see under three, we've written Miss Samantha Brune, senior nurse, grey walls, nursing home. And the fourth point is existing relationship. So we have to try and identify whether the patient is already known to the reader or is a reader going to meet the patient for the first time. And that will help us to a great extent because if we identify the existing relationship, we'll know what bits of information to include and what should be excluded. So let's look at the relationship they share. How do you identify the relationship? Now here it says you're writing to the senior nurse at Grey Walls Nursing Home. So um, the letter, the task. So the task does not say that this patient is being sent back, but to cross check. All you need to do is check the address of the patient. And here the address of the patient under social background says lives at Grey Walls Nursing Home four years which means the patient lives in this particular nursing home where the reader works. So that simply means the existing relationship is known because the patient lives in the nursing home. Are you able to identify how we are reducing the task from the bits of information that we have in the case notes to the ones that will help us come up with the letter? Now let me show you the second half of the task reduction template. Yes, now we have to fill in a few more points. Point number 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Once we fill in these details, once we pick up relevant information to finish this table, then we are good to go with writing an OET letter. Are you interested to know what these remaining pointers are? Well, all you need to do is download MedCity's mobile app, MedCity OET app, and you have a detailed video in the app which talks about the task reduction template and what the remaining points are that will help you come up with a perfect letter. Or you can also join our online portal where we have a full-fledged detailed video on the same. I hope you have a better idea of how the task reduction template will definitely help you and this is a technique worth using. If you feel so, just get in touch with us and then you have the technique in your own hands. Thank you. MedCity International Academy. Trusted hands forever.